Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on ratios. There's quite a lot of skills in this topic and we'll cover each skill over the course of several videos and we'll start off with looking at writing ratios as fractions. Uh, so when we have a ratio it's usually expressed in terms of parts so here we have an example where red to blue counters are in a bag in the ratio of 3 to 2. So the parts in this case are 3 and 2. Uh, now when we write a ratio as a fraction we can either write uh, each part as a fraction of the other part or we can write uh, a part as a fraction of the total number of parts. Uh, so let's start off with writing uh, one part as a fraction of the other. Uh, so if we want to write the number of red counters as a fraction of the number of blue counters, uh, we can say that there are 3 over 2 times as many red uh, versus blue. So this is just a shorthand way of writing it. Uh, but then uh, conversely we could say that there are 2 over 3 times as many blue counters as there are red counters. Uh, but we can also write these parts as a fraction of the total number of parts. So if our parts are 3 and 2, the total number is 5. Uh, so for red counters, we can say that there are 3 fifths of the counters which are red. So that's 3 fifths of the total are red. And then for blue counters, we can say that there are 2 fifths of the total are blue. So moving on then, let's have a look at a second skill. Uh, this time we're looking at simplifying ratios. So when we simplify a ratio, uh, what we have to do is identify a common factor. So in this example, uh, write the following ratio in its simplest form. The ratio is 15 to 30 to 24. Now the highest common factor is the one that we'll want to divide by, as that will give us the ratio in the simplest form. Uh, and if you uh, look at the factors of 15, 30 and 24, you should identify that the highest common factor is 3. So if we divide this whole ratio by 3, uh, then we should be left with our ratio in its simplest form. So that gives us 5 to 10 to 8. Uh, now we can't uh, simplify this any further because there are no common factors of 5, 10 and 8. So this ratio is now in its simplest form. Now understanding ratios is a really important skill for your exam. So if you want to get some practice, then you can have a go at our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at and you'll get instant feedback on each and every one. So this will allow you to keep track of the areas that you're weakest at and where you need to improve. And so if you're interested, then click the link below. It will take you straight there.